Winnie Harlow has been breaking barriers in the industry for the last few years. She was the first model to walk the Victoria's Secret fashion show with vitiligo. So this is an autoimmune condition that causes depigmentation of the skin. It's a condition that affects about 1% of the population, so that sounds small, but for those who have it, it can affect everything about their life. Luckily, it can be treated. Kelly tells us how in today's Be Well with TCL. When I was eight years old, I noticed my, my shins starting to get these white patches, so I brought it up to my mom and my grandma, and I was like, I don't know what this is. Paige Lubiani was diagnosed with something called vitiligo several years ago. What is vitiligo? So vitiligo is an autoimmune condition where your body reacts against the melanocytes, which are the pigment cells, and the body actually destroys those melanocytes, so then you lose your pigment. We see it in up to 1% of all people, but it's kind of a little bit more debilitating, A, for Caucasian people in the summer because the tan shows that discrepancy, and B, for darker skinned people like myself because you really can sometimes lose even your identity. You know, when I think of vitiligo, when many people maybe think of what that is, they probably associate it with Michael Jackson. Is Correct. that what he had? Correct. Michael Jackson did have vitiligo. Again, it was never, you know, proven, but that most likely is what he had. He also had a lot of cosmetic interventions. So we don't know how much of that was like kind of an acquired pigment loss, but he definitely had an underlying genetic component to it. Summer was my least favorite season. I refused to wear shorts. I didn't go swimming. I remember I went to the Wisconsin Dells with my family and I didn't swim the whole weekend because I was embarrassed of my skin. And so growing up with it was not fun. For many years, people have been told that vitiligo cannot be treated, but we actually have really successful treatments that we love at Terrain Dermatology. Anything from topicals that can kind of help turn on um, the melanocytes to work again. We have oral medications, but most importantly, and most safely during the time of COVID, we have something called the extract laser. That gives a very targeted wavelength of light, a beam of light that actually turns on those melanocytes safely and without compromising your immune system. Recently, Paige found Terrine Dermatology. I originally came in for something else, but then they introduced uh, the phototherapy to me, and I was like, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if it'll work, if it won't. But then once I started seeing improvements, I was like, okay, this is pretty awesome. A few times a week for just minutes, Paige has her phototherapy treatment. What's amazing to me is that it's just light. It doesn't hurt. It's not like a zap or a sting, it's just light. The phototherapy uses a large booth and that's for people who have larger areas of vitiligo or have, you know, more to diffuse widespread type of vitiligo. Exmer laser uses that same um, wavelength of light, the type of light that turns on pigment cells, turns down inflammation, but does not cause skin cancer, but targets it into a beam, Kelly, so that beam can penetrate a little bit deeper and give um, kind of those more focal areas pigment. I would imagine, much like Paige was when she first saw you, she thought, nothing can be done. I'm right. gonna live with this forever. It's just going to get worse. And when you tell them, no, we can help you, that's gotta be an amazing feeling. Oh, it's so exciting. People literally feel that their identity is back, that they've they lost their pigment, they lost who they, you know, know who they are in the mirror, and then their pigment's back, and they're like, this is who I am. It really kind of just gives their self-esteem and their opinion and their self-opinion back. I've noticed even like on my eyelids, I had a little bit of whiteness, but now you can't even see it. That is so. incredible. And you probably feel really good. As a 23-year-old, you want to be right. outside. You want to be in your bathing suit. Yeah. yeah. Is this a treatment that's kind of changed your life? Honestly, yeah. I wasn't, I never sought it out because growing up, I was like, there's nothing that's going to happen. I mean, I might as well just accept the fact. And um, once I started getting improvements, I felt been more confident wearing like my swimsuits or wearing shorts, or wearing pants, and just overall uh, boosting my confidence. Now, I have to tell you, we're looking at some of those before and afters, Kelly, and it's like out loud, whoa, whoa yeah, they're right. very, very dramatic. So, so when do people start to notice that they might have this condition? Well, for people with lighter skin, it's usually now during the summer months when their skin is tanning that they notice it. But for someone with darker skin, Dr. Tureen says you can really lose your identity. Um, you know, the average onset is in the mid, mid 20s, but mm. Paige, she mentioned she noticed it when she was just a kid. Right. So it can appear at any age. So uh, whether you have light skin or dark skin, it really can change the way you look. But as we showed you at the beginning of the story, the model um, that has this, 
She's embraced it and it's like, it. yeah. happened for her. Which it should be, you know, that decision, however, whatever works for you and whatever you feel comfortable with, if that's right. something that you don't want to do, then right. having a treatment option is incredible. So Where important. do you see the, the depigmentation? Is it certain areas of the body that right. are impacted more than others? So Paige, uh, she had it on her chest, her elbows, her shins. So that tends to be, it tends to show up on bony areas of the body, so where the bones are closer to the skin surface, but Dr. Tureen says it can really occur anywhere. I mean, really, the face, the neck, the scalp. Um, so I know someone who just has it on his hand, and so uh, that is manageable, but if it's on your face and your chest and your legs like Paige had, that was something she really wanted to take care of. And for people who then have children, grandchildren, uh, is it genetic? Are you more likely to get it if you have a family right, member? Right, that's a big question. So about one-fifth of the people with this condition will have at least one close relative that also has it. So uh, I guess... It, not really. Not I, really. Yeah, if you be, have it, it doesn't always mean that your children will develop it. It could be that maybe a couple people in your family have it. So it's not like every person. Isn't that yeah. fascinating? Yeah, it's really a really is. interesting condition, yeah. too. And those before and afters, again, they're just like, incredible. Whoa, it's really crazy. Kelly, thanks thank you. Life. appreciate that. A big thanks to uh, Tareen Dermatology for sponsoring the show. Tareen Dermatology has three locations. They're in Roseville, Maplewood, and in Faribault, and I work with most insurance companies, and they're open for patients to come into the clinics, and they can do virtual visits as well. We just love that, Dr. Tareen. I just think she is so... So sweet. That's the temperament she, that you want to deal with, Yes, right? and she's so smart. I yeah. Everything she says, I'm like, I, yes, great. <laughs> Can you take care of everything? <laughs> Up next, more.